Glory be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. O oh, rejoice and be glad. And want to appreciate everyone for coming into this broadcast. It's going to be a life-changing experience for us today. Glory be to God. This is day 76. We've been sharing God's word. We've been teaching some principles, I believe, has the potential to help us fulfill our destinies. And God has been faithful, helping us to share his word. And today is going to be different because his word is coming to us. And today we'll be sharing on life in God's presence. If you're truly going to be effective or strategic in the kingdom, you have to maintain God consciousness. And God consciousness is the key to productive faith. You being conscious of God, His ability, and His will. Life from God's presence makes all the difference. If you truly want to see great results, you have to be conscious that you live in the presence of God. And those who live in God's presence, nothing can be impossible to them. If you live in His presence, nothing can be impossible to you. So God wants you to be conscious that you're living in His presence. And He wants you to function from His presence. In First John 4 verse 4, He said, Greater is He that is in you than what is in the world. He said, The greater one lives inside of you. And because He lives in you, you have the required boldness to make a difference in the kingdom. God has called us to glorify Him in every aspect of our life. But that can only happen when we live in the revelation of His presence. Living in the, in the revelation of God's presence in us, I like us to look at Acts chapter, Acts chapter 28, and uh, like us to glory be to God in Acts 28, and let's look at Vex. Praise the Lord. Now let's look at Vex 16. Acts 28, Vex 16, it said, And when we are come to Rome. The centurion delivered this prisoner to the captains of the guard. But Paul suffered to dwell by himself with a soldier that kept him. Paul was a man of integrity. He was a man who understood the principles of God's word and his will. In the midst of the situation that happened here, we saw Paul being committed to excellence in the midst of his crisis, in the midst of his challenges. He stood on God's word. In Acts 17, in Acts chapter 17, glory be to God, Acts 17, glory be to Jesus. In Acts 17, I'd like to read verse 28. For in him we live, for in him we live and move. Where do we live? We live in him. It is said, for in him we live and move. 
And when you have this revelation that you're living in him, walking in the supernatural will be natural to you. When you have this revelation that you are living in him, walking in the supernatural will be natural to you because you have the revelation that you're living in him. The day you receive Christ as your Lord and personal Savior was the day you became a new creation. That was the same time you started living in the presence of God. We live in God's presence. We function from the presence of God. This is the consciousness that God wants you and I to have. That we are already in his presence. We are expected to live from his presence. We are expected to function from his presence. If this is your mentality, to live from his presence, to function from his presence, to do things from his presence, nothing can be impossible to you. Nothing can be impossible to you. No situation can be impossible to your vision. No situation can be impossible to your assignment. If you truly want to succeed, if you truly want to reign in life, all it takes is to pay attention to God's word. Life in God's presence. You are already living in the presence of God. So from the presence of God, you can speak forth. You can release your authority as a believer. From the presence of God. We don't pray to get into the presence of God. The day we receive Christ was the day we receive the presence of God. The day we receive Jesus was the day we receive the presence of God. But what we need right now is to walk in the consciousness of the word. What we need right now is to walk in the consciousness of the word. That is what we need right now. If we don't walk in the consciousness of the word, we can be effective. If we don't walk in the consciousness of God minded, when you are presence of God minded, nothing can be impossible to you. As a new creation in Christ Jesus, you are already in God's presence. Take advantage of that knowledge that you're living in God's presence and change the situation that is before you. Paul said, yeah, the right sorry, the right of the God, Luke said, uh, Acts, sorry, he said, in him we live, in him we move, in him we have our being. Acts chapter 17, verse 28. In Acts 17, 28, he said, for in him we live and move and have our being. It is in him we live. It is in him we move. It is in him we have our being. You're right in God's presence. Magnify that consciousness. Live your life with this mentality that I live in the presence of God. Live your life with this mentality that I function from God's presence. And because I live in his presence, nothing can be impossible to me. Nothing can be impossible to my dream. Nothing can be impossible to my vision. Nothing can be impossible for my life because I am living in the presence of God. The presence of God consciousness is the key to supernatural living. The presence of God consciousness is the key to supernatural living. We can't truly live supernaturally except we are conscious of his presence. And we are living in the presence of God. We are not trying to come into his presence. The day we receive Jesus was the day we were born into the presence of God. The day we receive Jesus was the day we are born into the presence of God. And since then, that we receive Christ as our Lord and Savior, we continue to live in God's presence. We need to take advantage of this presence to make a difference. The presence of God minded. 
And once you're God's presence minded, nothing can be impossible to you. Nothing can be impossible to your vision. Nothing can be impossible to your dreams. When you function in this mentality, I dwell in God's presence. I live in God's presence. I walk in God's presence. Nothing can be impossible to me because my life is rooted in the presence of God. And those who function with this mentality will always excel beyond every limitation. Those who function with this mentality will always break limitation. Those who have this mentality will always place a demand on the anointing and great things will begin to happen. Why? Because they live in the presence of God. We are not trying to come into his presence. The day we receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior was the day we are born into God's presence. Now, this is where we live. We live in the presence of God. That was why the writer said, for in him we live for and move and have our being. It is in him because we are his offspring. We are the offsprings of God and we're expected to manifest the God life, to function in the will of God. Father, we thank you for this broadcast and we'll pray for everyone who has viewed this broadcast. May the blessings of the Lord be upon you as you continue to function in the consciousness of the presence of God. You are in the presence of God. If you are born again, if you have received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you are already in God's presence. Take advantage of it. Can I say this to you? Those who walk in this knowledge will always manifest dominion, will always walk by faith, will always glorify God, will always produce uncommon results because they are living in the presence of God. This is the mentality that empowers you for effective living. You can't live an effective life without this revelation that I am living in the presence of God. With this revelation, no mountain can stand before you. No opposition can stand before you. No contention can resist the manifestation of your vision. Because you're living in the presence of God. I am living in God's presence. In his presence there is inspiration. In his presence there is wisdom. In his presence there is understanding. In his presence there is power. In his presence there is glory. In his presence there is an anointing. Everything we are looking for is in his presence. And right now we are in his presence. What are we going to do? By faith we begin to receive. By faith we begin to speak. By faith we expect results. By faith we begin to do exploits because we are living in his presence. Those who function from his presence will speak from his presence. In Acts chapter 3, Peter and John were going to the hour of prayer and they saw the man at the beautiful gate. He was at the beautiful gate, but his situation was not beautiful and he was looking for help. And Peter looked at him and said, Silver and gold none I have, but such as I have, I give to you. He brought it out from inside and he gave it to him. He said, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. When he spoke that word, the situation changed. Can I say this to you? Those who function from God's presence will always exercise spiritual authority. Those who function in God's presence will always manifest their sonship. Those who function in God's presence will always promote the dominion consciousness. Why? Because they are living in the presence of God. Life in his presence is a life full of possibility. Life in his presence is a life full of miracles. It's a life where your expectation will be met because when you function in that consciousness that I live in God's presence, then nothing can be impossible. That was why David had that mentality. He said, the battle is not mine. It's the Lord's battle. It was a revelation. It was a knowledge. It was an understanding he had. Can I say this to you? You are living in the presence of God. Be conscious of it. Be mindful of it. Always think about it. Always work with this mentality. Nothing can be impossible to me because I am living in God's presence. I am anointed to speak. I am anointed to declare. I am anointed to do the will of God. No sickness and disease will overtake me. I live in his presence. So I have healing. I have deliverance. I have protection because I'm living in the presence of God. I don't pray to enter into his presence. I was born into his presence. Prayer is what I do in his presence. 
prayer is what I do in the presence of God. It is not prayer that brings me into his presence, but prayer is what I do because I am in his presence. Prayer is communication. So in his presence, we talk. In his presence, we share. In his presence, we say things. I communicate. I don't pray to get into his presence. I pray from his presence. From his presence, I talk with him and great and mighty things happen. Those who function with his presence mentality will always manifest greater things of the Spirit. They will always manifest the greater power of the Holy Ghost. May the Lord bless you. May you continue to function in this revelation that you're living in the presence of God. May the blessing continue to increase. For that pray for every of my viewers today that they walk in this revelation and fulfill their amazing destiny because they are living in God's presence. All I'm wishing you is a revelation, more revelation of his presence would change any experience. Blessings to you.